A wavy binaural retrocoronal skin incision is made to expose the frontal bone on both sides and the orbital roofs. Two periosteal flaps are then created, with their bases positioned at the level of the temporal regions. Using the MT1-S10 insert, a bifrontal craniotomy is performed. The posterior border is located 2 cm behind the coronal suture, the lateral border is positioned above the two temporal sutures, and the anterior limit is 2 cm above the orbital roofs. The frontal bone is carefully separated from the dura mater through blunt dissection and is preserved. The frontozygomatic sutures on both sides and the frontonasal junction are opened using the MT1-S10 insert. This exposes the frontal cranial fossa. With gentle retraction of the frontal lobes, the intracranial sides of the two orbital roofs are exposed and cut using piezosurgery, extending from the frontozygomatic junctions to the midline. After completing the osteotomies, the orbital bandeau is mobilized from the two orbital capsules through blunt dissection. The orbital bandeau is repositioned one centimeter forward in both temporal regions and secured in its new position using resorbable plates and screws. The frontal bone is reshaped using relief bone cuts made with piezosurgery and secured to the orbital bandeau in its new position with resorbable sutures. The periosteal plane is sutured to cover the osteosynthesis areas, followed by suturing of the subcutaneous tissue and skin to complete the procedure.